Which Avenger spends the most time in the sun? Captain America. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for today's comic book editions video. I know there's several other places that you could be online looking at comic book content, so the fact that you're spending time on my channel means the absolute world to me. Thanks for being here. Today we have a theme. Maybe you'll remember back in March, I did an entire Justice League of America lot of books and showed them in one video. I guess today this would kind of counterbalance the scales, because today... I have a lot of 10 Avengers comic books that I'm going to show you that I've recently added to my collection. So let's get started. Avengers Volume 1, issue number 174 is where we're going to begin today with this classic awesome cover captured by the collector. Look at that cover. Isn't that amazing? I'll tell you something about this cover, though, that maybe you're not aware of. See Beast? He's captured there up in the corner near Scarlet Witch. Beast is not in this story or in this issue at all, despite being shown on the cover. This was an interesting experience. I'm not going to say where I bought this from, but with a big tag up there, I'm sure you can figure out already where I bought it from. And there's a reason why I'm not saying this. And here's what happened. I ordered a copy of this book. It arrived and I noticed it was missing some interior advertisements. It didn't affect the story, but it was missing. And I thought, oh, you know, I really wanted a complete copy, even though they're just ads. And plus, I paid for a complete copy. But when I contacted this comic book seller, I had no problems at all. I just sent a photo telling them that my book arrived. This is what I found. And uh, they expressed another copy out to me, which was my preference. I didn't want my money back. I wanted another copy. They express shipped another copy out right away. Didn't even have me send... Uh, the incomplete copy back and apologize for it. That's why I'm not saying the name of the shop because I don't want any rep uh, repercussions coming to them because it was an honest mistake. I don't expect any seller to flip through every page of every comic book and notice something that might be wrong with the comic book. No one would ever be able to get business done that way if they follow that protocol. But once they realized that something had happened, they took immediate action on that and treated me like gold. So thank you very much to this comic book selling company. Uh, I appreciate your customer service more than you'll know. And Avengers 174 is now in my collection. And once again, I'm going to say this is an awesome cover. So let's keep on keeping on. We're going to start a uh, run of issues for you right now from Avengers Volume 1. Here's issue number 205. Now this is famous for the fact that some fans noticed something in this issue immediately and so many fans noticed it right away and wrote into Marvel and they ended up just saying yeah it was an editorial error that was made uh, when they were putting the book together. So there's one panel where the Avengers are fighting these cyborgs and you see that Iron Man has been knocked out by these cyborgs and he's laying on the ground. And then when you flip the page, the very first panel on the next page, you can see Iron Man fighting these cyborgs again, which wouldn't even be possible considering the state that he was in uh, that just took place like a second or two earlier on the previous page. And it just was something that got overlooked. Um, many fans noticed this and Marvel was just smart enough to say, oops, we goofed on that one. So there's a little bit of notoriety to that issue. If Brock Morgan is watching this video, I know that you're going to be wondering, this issue and the next three that I'm going to be showing feature your girl, Jocasta. So you don't have to wonder, Brock. She's in there. Issue number 206 is up next in this run of Avengers that I'm sharing today. This issue, you know what happens? You know who saves the day? How about the Wasp? Yeah, that don't happen all the time, does it? Matter of fact, she gets some flack sometimes for... You know, not saving the day, but she saves the day in this one. We got a great cover here with Iron Man and Wonder Man uh, primarily in the center of the cover with the flames around them, too. Good stuff. Love this era of Avengers comic books. Two 
207 is up next. And what's interesting, as I say, I do love this era of Avengers comic books. I don't know why I didn't pick these up when they were new, because I was collecting at the time that they were new. The only thing that I can think of is there were so many things that I loved that were just coming out and there, there was only so much money to go around. I mean, at the time, these were 50 cents each. And I remember I remember when they jumped to 50 cents, I'm like, ooh, you know, that, that took a little bit of a dent out of the weekly allowance there when it went up. Um, how I wish they were 50 cents now. Um, but anyway, I don't know what I was buying, but there wasn't money allotted for Avengers at that time, which is why I'm just finally picking these up and adding these into my collection all these decades later now as back issues. But I certainly enjoy the team lineup. We look at the uh, corner box and we got Beast and Vision, Iron Man, Wasp, Captain America, Wonder Man, and Scarlet Witch. That's a solid lineup, especially with Scarlet Witch. I'm a huge fan of that character. So don't know why I didn't have these at the time that they were new, but fixing the problem now. And luckily these are very affordable now too. Here's 208. These are covers that I certainly do recognize too. I, I'm very much familiar with these covers and still knowing that I didn't have these in my collection. I just remember like my gap stopped at 202 or 203. And then since then I've filled in a couple of, of those issues and now getting this uh, run in to help fill out the collection even more. I would love to know in the comments section below, if you could pick seven Avengers for your dream team, who would it be? And, and or I should say, um, has there ever been an Avengers lineup of seven characters that was absolutely perfect to you? Maybe you're putting together a lineup for me in the comments section below that has never existed, or are you putting one together that did exist? Love asking people that question that are fans of Avengers or the Marvel characters too, loving, loving uh, to know what their dream lineup for the team would be. Here is 209, great cover there. Of course, B started out as an X-Men, became an Avenger as well. He was a defender too. Uh, he's, he, um, he's been in a lot of the team, wasn't in Champions. Uh, two of his other X-Men co-stars were in that. Love the Champions too, but that's for another video. Of course, I've talked about that in the past too. Fantastic cover here. Uh, this is one I haven't read yet. I've read about half of the ones that I'm showing you so far in this video today. This one I haven't gotten to, but look forward to reading. The Resurrection Stone. Looks good to me. Then we're going to jump up now to Avengers number 215. And I'm surprised I didn't have this. Uh, this is Part of the era that Tigra was a member. Uh, I started back on Avengers again with like 211, and I had 211, 212, 213, 214, then I didn't have this one, and then I skipped to like 216. Tigra was only in uh, six issues of Avengers, and that was on purpose. Uh, the Marvel creators wanted to show that not just any character could cut it as an Avenger, and that was their purpose of putting her in there knowing that she wasn't going to last very long. I really enjoyed this issue reading it too. Uh, it's the first of a two part. I, like I said, I already had the, the second part of it, so I knew how the story ended. Um, but this was good. I love this terrified look that Tigra has on her face when she's holding onto the Silver Surfer. And that was cool seeing the Silver Surfer interact with the Avengers too in this issue. So, and they're taking on um, the Mo Molecule Man. Yeah. So now that I have this one, I, I have the um, six issue run that uh, Tiger was a member of the Avengers. So this time it was Captain America, Wasp, Yellow Jacket, Thor, Iron Man, Tigra. Of course, Yellow Jacket and Wasp would have their issues in this story arc too. Now we jump to issue number 225 from volume one. We got uh, Black Knight right there on the cover. I wasn't necessarily the biggest Black Knight fan. It's not that I dislike the character. What I liked about this story though, and this can get a little confusing, I'll try to simplify it as much as I can, but they've traveled to a to the realm where Black Knight is existing. Now on Earth, the regular Earth where they're from, Black Knight is encased um, in stone. 
And he kind of asked the Avengers, you know, how is my stone body? Is, is it okay? And they're like, uh, it's been destroyed. <laughs> I like that part. Um, the Black Knight era, not so much my favorite Avengers era. Uh, it's an okay character. Um, I didn't like the Eternals movie at all, but I did like the end credit scenes showing Dane Whitman, you know, taking that step into becoming the Black Knight. And at this point, um, we see we have Captain America, She-Hulk, Hawkeye, Iron Man, Wasp, and Thor, and Black Knight is the Avengers. So loved She-Hulk in the Avengers. Absolutely love that. So very stoked. So what I've realized is I have, um, I'm four issues away now, I've sh after showing you these books that I've shown you, I'm four issues away of having a run of Avengers that goes from 170 through 280. So that's a pretty uh, nice haul, a nice solid uh, haul there of Avengers comic books. And the four that I'm missing, um, one of them is like a 15 to 20 dollar book and the rest are pretty affordable and cheap. So uh, hopefully you're gonna be seeing those in upcoming comic book editions videos uh, throughout the remainder of this year because I wanna complete those last four issues and get that run filled in. I'm also filling in a run too of some issues that I need for about um, just a little over 100 issue run on X-Men volume one, two. So volume one comma two, meaning also. So uh, hopefully you'll see some of that as well. I didn't realize that I was only, you know, only had a handful of issues I needed to go have this big run put together. So that's why I'm wanting to finish that up right now. And then I'll start collecting backwards. Once I have 170 through 280, I'll start making sure I have 169, 168, 167, and so forth. While my friend Comics for Thomas is killing it with the pre-100 issues of Avengers in his collection, and I'm so jealous, uh, I'm working on this point right now because this is a little more doable for me. But man, I am jealous of Thomas for her. He's got a quite a haul of pre-100 Avengers. Many more than I do. So uh, now we're jumping all the way up to the current volume of Avengers, and this is issue number 42. And uh, speaking of comics for Thomas, during an AOK -OK earlier this year, he AOK'd -OK me some of the Alex Ross Timeless variants. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to start putting those together when I have an opportunity, or if I see a book that's cheap uh, and can add to it, I'm going to pick it up. If I end up getting a whole run of the Timeless variants, that's awesome. And this one was on sale and uh, below cover price, so I picked it up. It's issue number 42, as I mentioned, from the current volume. It's the Hawkeye uh, Virgin variant by Alex Ross as part of the Timeless collection. So Avengers issue number 50 from the current run, which is legacy numbered 750. I have this awesome, amazing cover that was part of a birthday gift to me from Mr. Fridge Art. And I showed that recently on my channel in Comic Book Editions Volume 101. So check that out as well if you haven't seen that video or that cover. I have one more Avengers book I want to share in today's video. And uh, this one is Mephisto versus the Avengers. And it's issue four, four of four. It was a four issue limited series. As I've talked about before, for some odd reason, I have some limited series where I'm only missing like one issue to have the entire limited series or, and usually it's the last issue. And I don't know if that falls at the time when I stopped collecting uh, from my original childhood collection or what, but I'm trying to fill those runs in as well. If I remember correctly, uh, the other three issues, uh, Mephisto always took on a different team. Like it was Mephisto versus the Fantastic Four, Mephisto versus the X-Men, Mephisto versus X-Factor. Then they wrapped it up with Mephisto versus the Avengers in issue four, this four issue limited series. So I have the uh, direct edition of all of the three other issues. So I had a chance to get the direct edition as well for issue number four. And I thought, let's keep it consistent and pick it up. So that's exactly what I did. Do you have any of these comic books in your collection? I'd love to know in the comments section below. Which cover was your favorite? We can talk about that as well. And as I said earlier too, if you want to tell me your dream Avengers lineup, whether it's ever happened or if it has happened, which incarnation it was, share that and anything you'd like in the comments section below as your comments are always welcomed, encouraged, and appreciated. Please give this video a thumbs up, a heart, 
It's a great way to show support to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and clicking the notification bell will let you know when new content is added to my channel. Avengers Assemble, we're wrapping up this comic book editions video today. Thanks for making it all the way to the end and have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care.